Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. I welcome you all to this session and in this session we will be discussing about ASP.NET versus ASP.NET Core. So before we get started with the session, let's have a look at today's agenda. We shall begin with learning about ASP.NET, followed by that we'll be learning ASP.NET Core. Then we shall see some differences between ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core. After that, we shall focus on versions of ASP.NET and finally, we shall have a look at versions of ASP.NET Core. However, before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so that you can never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started about ASP.NET. In the present, the world is developing its technology in a speedy manner to make everything like communication, development, etc in a better way. All these are used with the help of the applications. When it comes to our mind for building those applications, then ASP.NET is the best choice. It is a server-side technology used for developing dynamic websites and web applications on the internet. ASP in ASP.NET stands for Active Server Pages, which Microsoft provides for building applications. It produces data-driven interactive web applications. Microsoft released the first version of ASP.NET in 2002 for building dynamic web applications. Now, when you have an idea about ASP.NET, let's understand what exactly ASP.NET Core is all about. ASP.NET Core is an open source version of ASP.NET, which have some direct features compared to ASP.NET. It runs on three different platforms like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. The first version of ASP.NET Core was released in the year 2016 to provide some better features than ASP.NET. Moving forth, let's see some more differences between ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core. Applications built using ASP.NET can be applicable only for Windows, but applications using ASP.NET can be applicable for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. ASP.NET uses .NET technology as the platform for building the applications, where ASP.NET Core uses both .NET and .NET Core as the platform for building applications. Languages that ASP.NET uses are C Sharp, F Sharp, and Visual Basics .NET, whereas ASP.NET Core uses C Sharp and F Sharp. The next difference is the types of applications. Using ASP.NET, we create web user interface applications, web APIs, MVC applications, and Signal R. Whereas using ASP.NET Core, we create web forms, web APIs, MVC applications, and web pages. The performance of applications using ASP.NET technology is good, whereas ASP.NET Core applications have high and better performance. If the user makes any changes to ASP.NET, then the user has to compile whenever he makes changes. But in ASP.NET Core, there is no need to compile every time. It automatically compiles. Now when you know about some differences between ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core, let's have a look at versions of ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core. Microsoft released the first version of ASP.NET on 16th of January 2002 and named it .NET 1.0 and later in 2003, 24th of April, the next version was released. It was .NET 1.1 and it had some features to support the database for mobile application developers. After that, on November 7th of the year 2005, the third version of .NET, which is the .NET 2.2, was released by adding features like grid view and navigation plus controls. After 2.0, the .NET 3.0 was released on the year 2006, November 21st, with more features like Windows Presentation Foundation and Windows Workflow. Then on 12th of April 2010, the next version, that is .NET 4.0, was released by adding features of metadata and meta description for page class. After 4.0, the version was 4.5, which was released on the year 2012 and 15th of August by adding features that help applications run faster and more scalable. Then on 17th of October 2013, the next version of .NET, that is .NET 4.5.1, was released with features of Entity Framework, Bootstrap, and Signal R for better communications. After .NET 4.5.1, the .NET 4.6 was released on July 20th, 2015, with Entity Framework and Bootstrap features. 
Then on 11th of April 2017, .NET 4.7 was released to support TLS protocol that is Transport Layer Security. After .NET 4.7, on October 17, 2018, the .NET 4.7.1 was released by adding secure hash algorithm to support TLS. And on 18th April 2019, the current version of ASP.NET was released with the name .NET 4.8 by adding web forms and compiler features. Now, let's see the features of ASP.NET Core. Microsoft released the first version of ASP.NET Core on 27th of June 2016 and named it as .NET Core 1.0 and later on 16 November 2016, the second version .NET Core 1.1 was released with some features to support more development. After that, on 14th of August 2017, the third version of .NET Core 2.0 was released with Entity Framework features. After 2.0, the .NET Core 2.1 was released on 30th May 2018 with some features to support Windows applications. Then, on 4th December 2018, the next version, that is .NET Core 2.2, was released. After 2.2, the next version was 3.0, which was released on 23rd September 2019. Then on 3rd December 2019, the current version of ASP.NET Core was released with the name .NET Core 3.1 by adding features of long-term support for applications. And this was all for today's session. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you have any queries and questions, do let us know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for more on ASP.NET from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.